I have been playing the guitar for a long time. Almost amazing when I think back at it, how many years. Um, and I've seen a lot of things come and go, so a lot of things come and go, come and go like this. But the guitar always remained, you know, never went anyway, anywhere. And then it was in the 1990s it kind of went really low. But right in the beginning of 2000, it started going up, you know, the video, like my, my son, who was a little kid then, he used to say, hey, guitar hero game, stuff like that, that what is this? But that was the start of a new renaissance of guitar. I don't think it's ever going to go away. I think it's a, it's a certain allure to the guitar that everybody loves. And what we are doing now, our friends are here, is, is amazing. We're, it's, it's over the top everything, you know, so I don't think it's going anywhere. I, I, don't, I don't think it will ever go anywhere. This is my Ingve J. Malmsteen signature Fender Stratocaster. I'm very proud of this thing. Um, it has scallop neck, very, very large frets. I think the biggest one you can get. You can drive a tray on it. <laughs> it's got a brass nut. And Seymour Duncan YGM pickups that I uh, designed with Seymour Duncan, they're incredibly good. Um, a couple more things is the fact that it has the bullet, like the three bolt used to have in the 70s, but it has a four bolt neck. So, best of both worlds. And so I love this thing. I've been making them for about 30 years, a little more than 30 years with Fender now. And um, I love them, I play them, I highly recommend them. Well, when I was a little kid, I was uh, uh, apprentice in a, in a luthier shop. And uh, this old loot from the 17th century came in. They had like the wood worn out like this. And I just did it on one of my, uh, I used to build guitars, so I'm not a luthier as well. So I just did it and I liked it. And I kept on doing it deeper, deeper and deeper and more higher frets and so on. So this is pretty extreme, but uh, it's good. I found out later that it's been done by some people before, but I never knew about it because I didn't have internet when I was a kid. <laughs> These are stacked, and this one is voiced for the treble, this was voiced for the neck, this was voiced for the middle. It was also the pot, it's a special pot that I designed with um, Simon Anke as well, it's very fast. That's got my name on it. <laughs> yeah. Well, Fender makes uh, a bunch of other stuff as well, they make my straps, they make my uh, strings, strings are special made from Fender, they have what's called the bullet end here which makes the guitar stay in pure. As you can see, I don't use locking nuts. I think it stays in tune beautifully. I uh, got some tuners, gig bags, cables from Fender. And uh, most importantly, they, they make an overdrive pedal that I use. It's, it's amazing. I, it took a long time to get, get it right. Uh, it's not dirty. It's not clean. It's, not, it's just perfect for traveling the sound into a tube amp, you know? make it very uh, fluid, so. And then I have an Ovation guitar that they make for me, nylon string and steel string from Ovation, which I love, I'm playing tonight. And I got uh, mics from Lewitt, which I use in studio and live. I'm using the 940 in the studio because I sing on all the, the, my last four albums of the World of Vocals. So, uh, just finished one now, it's gonna come out in the beginning of the year. And uh, that's amazing sounding mic. And live, I use uh, the dynamic one, but it's made especially for me, silver instead of black. And uh, I actually use the drum mics too, live, and uh, the dynamic mics for the amp guitar. I forget the, the this uh, designation uh, for the guitars. You know, they in the studio too. Hi, I'm Ingrid J. Malmsteen. Not to be confused with all the other Ingrid Malmsteens. Watch out my signature gear on AmericanMusical.com.